Hello, I am going to teach you how to change the colors in your visual resume. First platform I'm going to show you is on PowerPoint. If you have an updated version of PowerPoint, this is going to be really easy for you. So what you need to do is go to the template that you want to work with. And if you want to use one of these pre-made color schemes instead of designing your own, then choose the one that you want to do and delete the rest. Okay, so now you have your color scheme right there beside of your template. And all you need to do is click on the box, not the text box, but the color box, the gray box. And you're going to go to Shape, Fill. And then you're going to get your eyedropper tool and you are going to choose the color that you want that to be. And you just click on the color and it changes it. So again, you click on one of the boxes, go to Shape, Fill, Eyedropper, and then choose a color. Of course, you can change your font colors that same way. And insert your picture, you can change the shape outline, the color of the outline of the picture, all kinds of different things that you can do. If your picture were here, let's just change the color to show you. Shape outline, and you can also change the thickness of the outline to where it shows up more like that. So just use your creativity and make this visual resume stand out. Now if you would like to make your own color scheme, you can just delete all of those. You have a blank slate here. You click on it, go to Shape Fill, More Colors, and here's where you can add the custom color. You can make it yourself, or you can even get that from a picture, which I will show you in just a second. Now, if you are using Google Slides as your platform, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. If you have the ability to use PowerPoint to do this, use PowerPoint, especially if you have that eyedropper tool. But if you don't, if you can only use Google Slides, uh, once you get into Google Slides, it's going to be the same premise, except, let's go to one, when you click on that box, you can fill it to any color you want, but it's not going to have the eyedropper tool. However, you can make a custom color. You go to custom and you put in the hex number. Now where do you get the hex number? The hex number is right here on these templates for you. So as you can see the hex code is below each picture. You can just type it in or you can copy and paste it from the slide if you wish. So I click on the box and then I go to fill color and I want to custom color and then I'm going to um, use the hex code that I want and you can see that it changed it to that exact color. And of course you can change your font to where it would better stand out on this visual resume. Now I'm going to show you a last fun trick. Let's say that you want to do your own color scheme based on a picture that you really love. This beach for example. You're going to get that image. I'm going to go to PowerPoint right now and I'm going to paste that image into PowerPoint. So maybe you want to use this image as your stock image on your cover letter. So I'm going to actually turn it around like that. It looks pretty cool. And then send to back. Um, but I want to pick up on the colors from the beach onto my template. So I'm going to click on that box, go to fill shape, eyedropper, and find a really pretty shade of blue that I want to use here. It can be any color from that picture. And even though your picture will go here, I'll just do blue like that. You can take an image, get the colors out of it, and have a really nice scheme for your entire visual resume. If you are using Google Slides and you can't use the color picker, then you can, you can find your picture and you can bring it over to a color picker online. Um, and you just upload your own image. And again, you can find the exact color you want from that image, and it's going to give you the hex code. You would then put the hex code into your Google Slides. All right, I hope you have fun designing your very own visual resume.